So guys, today we have a really exciting um, clothing haul that involves you guys. Um, I asked you a couple of weeks ago to pick out um, some bits from Boohoo that you'd like me to try. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see what you guys picked for me. and hello there I do plus size fashion along with my home decorating I do some beauty videos as well uh, lots of good stuff on this channel so if you haven't yet now would be the perfect time to hit that big red button down below and subscribe it is free <laughs> um, and hello to all my lovely regulars thank you so much for joining me today I feel like it's been a hot 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 minute since I have done a uh, clothing haul video. So I know some of you guys will be really, really excited to see this video. And um, so I did ask all you guys on Instagram and on my YouTube community tab uh, to pick me some goodies to try. And um, so we've got lots of different things. And uh, so everything has been gifted by Boohoo. Uh, so I will be linking everything down below. They are affiliate links. Um, and that just means if you do decide to purchase anything through them, it really helps support my channel it doesn't cost you anything extra but i do get a little bit of a kickback um and i think uh that's all said and done so let's get straight into the haul video so first up we have this really really gorgeous sage green ditzy um i thought say ditzy floral print um midi dress with a really nice slit and um, so i did get this in a 26 and i'm really glad that i did this is definitely coming up small, um, but it's really, really pretty. I absolutely love the colours. They're a little bit more muted, um, but I feel like you could easily pair stuff you already have in your wardrobe with it. I think um, a really nice denim jacket and maybe a cream bag and sandals would look really, really nice. And it's definitely giving me like Bridgerton vibes. <laughs> um, I also like the fact that the slit in this dress doesn't come up to about here. Um, a lot of the times when there are slits, they put them really, really high and it was gonna give your chub, shu your chub rub short game away. Um, so I really like the length of um, the slit. Let me give you a close up of the fabric. So it's got this like really nice, like light blue, a bit of peach and cream and like a slight beigey color with like a little black outline. It's very cute. Um, and then you've got um, some mocking at the top and little poofy sleeves. Um, so this is the kind of dress that I probably would go for anyway, but I know you, a lot of you guys really like dresses like that. So I think that's why one of you chose this for me. It's just a very pretty, very flattering dress in like a really nice color scheme. And so yeah, I'm really pleased with this choice. I think the leg slit is perfect and I think this is great for all the little things we've got going on over spring and summer. Um, so here we have this really cute top, but I totally bought this in definitely the wrong size. It's way, way too big. Um, I know they do this top in lots of different prints and I do actually have one already. Um, I bought quite a while ago now. But one of you guys wanted to see this one and I absolutely loved the print. I thought it would go so well with blue denim, and it does. <laughs> but I would recommend, well, I got this in a 26, and it's just huge. <laughs> so I definitely would recommend staying to your true size or even sizing down, because it's- <gasps> Size down, wow. Size down. I don't want it, it's mum with all this fabric. <laughs> <laughs> don't go to fabric shop folks buy some of these boohoo tops <laughs> um, but these tops are very very comfortable they're very very cute will say though um it does leave a lot of bare shoulder out um and i would ha i can't just do my usual tuck in and tuck in the bra straps to the sleeves because the sleeves do fall so you would need a slap strapless bra but because you've got all these ruffles would you really need a strapless bra? You could probably just let your boobs just chill. <laughs> um, it does have like this panel that your 
like the top the boobs go into um i think the print is absolutely gorgeous it's nice very pretty i love i love how it looks with the um the jeans but yes i think it's very very pretty i would just yeah go for a, a smaller size because um it, it does feel a quite a lot loose as you can see from like, yeah, the sleeves. It looks sleeves. like it could just drop it off. It's falling off me. Yeah. Oh, so skinny. <laughs> <laughs> Now, ladies, can I just say to you, if you get a top like this, please remember to put your sunblock on. Yes. Because if you're as fair as Rebecca, you'll get sunburnt. Not one, but two of you guys actually asked me to try this jacket on. And it is this multicolour, uh, it's a hounds. Hound's tooth, yeah. Hound's tooth blazer. Um, it's definitely giving us very like 80s vibes with the shoulder pads and the colours. Um, but we do think it's very, very cool. Um, also a really nice length as well. If you do like something that covers um, your booty, <laughs> this is a great length. I will say, if you like a blazer, Boohoo is a place to go. They have got so many blazers with so many really cool different patterns on. Um, and I do, I do think blazers are always in style and they've always got loads of different ones to try. Um, I did get this in a 26 and I do think that is the perfect size for me. Um, while it doesn't, like, it wouldn't do up if it had real buttons. No, it's not meant to do It's up, not meant it? to be done up anyway. Um, the sleeves are very very comfortable not too tight at all um and yeah I just and they've got that mock gathering yes we've got they? some mock gathering as well so you don't need to ruffle up your cuffs yourself i think that's a lovely jacket um but yeah i think this was actually i would never have picked this ever so um yeah i think this was a great choice from both of you um, and i love all the colors obviously you could like you must have a pair of shoes that matches at least one of well, these colors well, I know, I know you do. <laughs> I've got some yellow sandals. You've got yellow, you've got red, you've got orange, you've got blue. I haven't got turquoise shoes, but... You, you must have some turquoise <laughs> shoes. Do not lie to me. But, yeah, I think this is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. So one of you guys wanted me to pick this up because you're going to a christening and you wanted to see what this looked like on. Um, so this is a classic wrap dress rather than a mock wrap dress. So I always have issues with real wrap dresses. They always show um, my bra. Um, I don't really know why that is. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, I did get this in a 26. Again, glad that I did. I always think with wrap dresses, you're better off getting a bigger size and having more room to more room and more fabric to play with and having it maybe a little bit too big than having it too small and you know not having enough to cover um, i always think it's worth definitely sizing up obviously you could totally pin this or i think you can get like body or like fabric tape to kind of tape it together but personally for me i find that a fan it is a bit of a fan. But if you really like the print and you like the silhouette, it could be a really nice option. And I do think once you've pinned it, uh, this would be suitable for a place like a church, because um, you can obviously kind of pin it to however high you would like to. Um, the fabric and the print is really, really pretty. I think it would be perfect for a christening. Um, this beautiful kind of like peachy coral flowers. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend it for a wedding though, because there's a lot of white, isn't there, Mum? Well, I wouldn't say it's white actually. I would say it's sort of a very light cream, but yeah. well, yeah, but it's it's pale. I say yeah. if you're going for a wedding and you're going to wear a floral print with a white background, it needs to be more floral, floral print yeah. than there is in the background. Yes, I know. Yeah. This, I'd say, phew, I would ask the bride. <laughs> Um, also nice three quarter length sleeves. The fabric is non-stretch, um, but I think it is a pretty option if you don't mind a wrap dress. Um, and I would just say probably size up just so you have a little bit more fabric to play with. So guys, this had so much potential, um, but again, is another real wrap top this time. Um, I absolutely love the fabric so, so much. So I'm gonna have a little hunt on the website 
see if I can find anything else in this print and of course link it down below. Um, I would love it if it was just a mock one with like a stretchy waistband because it would have fit fine. It's just these, I just don't understand why um, they're doing all these real ones. Like if it, oh, if it had a little popper just there, that would be perfect. I guess I could sew my own, um, but I absolutely love the fabric. I feel like a little unicorn in it. Um, it's really, really pretty. This isn't a size 24. Um, I don't think getting a 26 would have made much difference because um, I've tried other wraps in 26s and my boobs still pop out. I don't, I don't really know. I could, I could obviously could wear a cami, but I'm not really into camis. Just my personal opinion. Um, but it is this really nice, like, crepey material. I really do like the material. It's really pretty. The colours are super, super vibrant and like ombre. So I'm definitely going to keep a lookout for more in this print because I think it's really, really cute. But guys, don't pick any more wraps for me. But well, I know we have another one coming up, but no more wraps. <laughs> so which one of you guys picked this out for me, eh? <laughs> I know why it was chosen because on the model, it does look really, really good. Um, it is like a... Uh, sw swimsuit, so tight. it's like a swim, it's like a beach wear set, um, that you'd wear probably like a black bikini or black swimsuit or white, um, in this like green, yellow, black ombre. The bottoms are incredibly tight, and these are only 28 guys, and I'm not a 28 bottom. Um, so this is not, it's like so tight, it feels like it's going to bust open. Um, the shirt I did get in 26, but it feels quite tight on the sleeves. But I think if you really liked it, you could totally get away with using this as like a beach cover-up kimono. Um, but the trousers are really where this uh, set is let down. Um, they're just really long and also they're like different ombres on each leg. Um, which I don't really like. I think it does look a little bit. It's not a look, is it? Um, so, yeah. It, this one, unfortunately, is a no from me. I think the the jacket's really nice, though. If you have, like, a nice, like, plain swimsuit. But the trousers, it's a no from me. But you can, like, do lots of things with the top, like, tying it up bits and bobs like that but yeah. <laughs> also the vest tops rolled up <laughs> anyway it's yeah a bit of a pass so while this said it was a wrap top it's actually um almost like kimono style so i just and then <laughs> you'll see the sleeves in a sec then just tied it so just bear that in mind, um, you, someone could just like untie it and it would all, but then you could do that with any wrap top, so. Um, but there's loads and loads of fabric. I got this in a 24. Um, one of you guys said you absolutely love the print. I will say the, <laughs> the sleeves. There's a lot of material there, there's isn't there? a lot there? of material, which is surprising. Because I think in the last video I had a dress with huge sleeves and you hear, all these brands are trying to cut costs by, you know, not using enough material. And then they do this. <laughs> so it's just a, a bit confusing, really, because I feel like that's enough material to make a size 8 skirt. <laughs> Both sides. I've got two skirts here. Um, I absolutely love the print. Um, well, I actually really like it in general. I think it looks great with blue jeans. It's given me very much Greek holiday vibes. It's a really lovely print. I think you've just got to be okay it's, with... What's the material? I think it is like a polyester, but it's definitely like a cottony feeling mm, polyester. Mm. Um, so it, it folds nice. It yeah, drapes well, it, doesn't it? it, it look, I think it also looks quite expensive. Yes, yeah. Like... But will those sleeves drag in <coughs> your soup when you're trying to eat? Definitely drag in your soup or pasta. This is mm. more of a cocktail... Jacket. But you can always wake him up. 
<laughs> some straps. <laughs> yeah. Some elastic bands to pull up the sleeves. Wow, that's another look, isn't it? <laughs> You're so supportive, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do really like this and I much prefer this type of wrap top because I've got loads more coverage um, and it's, it's a lot more comfortable as well. Um, so yeah, I think this was a great pick. Love the colour, love the print. Would love to see this in a dress, this print. I'll make you one out of the sleeves. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, but yes. I think it's a very... Woo, 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 woo. So I know a lot of you guys really like to see me in a bit more black and I do tend to stay away from black. One, because I'm so fair, but also I feel like a lot of us tend to migrate towards black so I like to try and inspire people to wear all different colours but I will say I feel very sassy in this dress it is this gorgeous chiffon like almost it's like peasant style dress um but I absolutely love it it's got really nice cup details up here uh, with smocking all the way down the front. Mum's telling me to come forward. Yeah, you can't see it from me. Uh, it just looks like a black dress. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> so you've got it's smocking nice detail, here, you've got cups here, you've got a little bow here. You also have this really nice smocking on the sleeves. And I like how there's no lining on the sleeves, so it's like see-through. I just think it's really, really sexy. Um, this is the dress, a dress I would take um, for an evening dress on holiday. Um, I think pairing it with like a really poppy bag, like a or like a neon orange. I love black and orange in the summer. Like an orange lipstick, matching clutch black sandals. I think such a vibe. Such a vibe, eh, Mum? Certainly is. I think they did this in white. And I think if you add a tan, the white one would look amazing. But on me, I think it would just make you look like a ghost. I really want, I really want, I love finding white stuff that suits me because I do love the look but I think this time uh, the black has it. So it has got two tiers on the skirt and then it's got this like stretchy jersey. Um, I did get this in a 26 again glad I did it because I am bigger in my bottom half and there is the the join from the second skirt to the top one is uh, stiff. So I think if I got a 24, that tight. would have been tight against me. So just giving you all the information you girls need. Um, it is on the shorter side, but not as short as before, Mum. No, no, it's quite definitely not, because I it. initially thought, oh God, that's going to be too short, but I like it. I think it's very pretty. I really love this, and I will definitely be packing it on my next trip to one, can I? <laughs> so I think this is one of my favourite things from this haul. You guys know I absolutely love um, bodysuits from Boohoo. I think they're my favourite place to get a bodysuit from because they're always really, really stretchy and comfortable. And if you do want to do them up, um, you can. But I do, I have actually just tried out just now that I can like clip them together here at the side. Not going through, but just at the side so they're not kind of flailing, you don't end up with a tail. Uh, because that's uh, that has happened to me before. I've gone to the toilet, I've unbuttoned, but I can't rebutton. So I thought I tucked it in, and I oh, was bloody hello, boo boo. <laughs> My friend had to tell me your bodysuit is strong. <laughs> Baggy jeans. Uh, so I think that's a good little tip. But I love this. I think they call it space tie dye. Um, all these beautiful colours, I think it goes really, really, really good. And it's so comfortable, so soft. Really, really love it. So many, so many colours you could play off. And um, it feels really nice quality as well. Really nice and stretchy. I really love it. I love um, a long sleeved bodysuit. <coughs> I think it's super, super cute. I don't think you can go wrong with boohoo body suits. I did get this in a 26. Um, I feel like I could have actually got a 24 
um, if I wanted a bit more of a form fitting moment. But if you do want to clip them together, um, then I'd recommend going with one size up just so you get the length. Um, but yeah, I think this is absolutely fabulous and I can't wait to wear it. So one of you guys wanted to see this trench coat. So I don't, I don't own a trench coat. I, I think I've tried one trench coat on my channel from H&M and it was an absolute disaster. Um, so this one is a lot better quality than that H&M one. Um, but I will say we have to spend about five minutes doing all the buttons and the buckles, etc., on it. Um, but I will say this is very, very well made. It is, um, it is somewhat, yeah, it is lined. Um, and also the pockets are lined. It has real pockets. Um, you do have a lot of like bunching, like what do you call that? Cinching, cinching of the well, sleeve. Well, I called it gathering. It gathering gathers the, the sleeve in, which I think looks quite nice. Actually, <coughs> um, I did get this in twenty six, and it does button up. We did do it up to show you. However, if I was going to wear it um, out, I would wear it undone. I think that's just a bit. I feel like trench coats nowadays. Oh, they're definitely like an Instagram um, mm. influence. Like they, I don't know. They all just kind of they look so good. They look so naturally good in a trench coat, and I just don't think I. <laughs> um, I think it looks nice, Becky. I'm not sure about the colour. Do you think it would need to be a bit more light tan? I don't know. A bit more of a Burberry. I tan. think beige tan is quite a difficult colour well. for, for people to wear. Um, they did do this though in like grey and like oh, other colours as well. Right. Oh, so, grey sounds nice. Um, for me. <laughs> you, you love your greys. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they did lots of other colours in it, like all like the neutral colours. Yeah. I will say quality is great. It also has a. How do you call that? Placket? Um, sorry, which bit are we talking about? Like the. the Black. Oh yeah, I can't think what that's called now. Oh God, my memory is just going, but everybody can see what it is. Yeah, it has one of them. It does look very, like, traditional trench coat. If you were a trench coat, I'd go for this it. This is a great option. It was option. a bit like a, trying to build a flat pack. Yeah, furniture, but for the price, it? I feel like trench coats are normally, like, over Quite £100. Lot, yeah, pounds. A lot of money. So, I think this yeah. one, the quality feels the same as something that you would pay maybe 100, 124. Mm. Mm. You just had to put the strap, put the button, blah, 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 blah. But once you've done that, and maybe steam, steam, give it mm. a little steam, hang it up. No one would know any different. And you get all your little Instagram, you know, Starbucks in the hands, looking really <laughs> naturally flawless and stunning. <laughs> but yeah, I am... Um, Pleasantly surprised and pleased with this jacket. Thank you for picking it for me. So guys, let me know uh, down below what you thought of the video. What were your favorite pieces? Let me know in the comments. Big thank you to all of those that were involved. Thank you so much for um, sending me your links. Sorry if I didn't um, pick yours. I just had to place the order really quickly because I thought I was going to film the video. A while ago now but obviously things got in the way um but yeah if you enjoyed the video and you haven't yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course give this video a big thumbs up and i will catch you in the next one bye